Welcome back. I started my blog and YouTube journey back in December of 2015. At that time, I had beauty products for skin, hair, face that I loved so much. I don't even recall when I started using these products. When I was blogging prior to starting my YouTube channel, which was a year later, I did blog posts sharing the products that I love. Then once I started YouTube, I would share them on YouTube. Today I want to share with you those products, the beauty products that I have used since 2015 and I am still using all of these products today. Of course, I would highly recommend all of them. There will be links to everything that I show you today in the description box below. The other thing I want to share with you is because we are going into Valentine's Day weekend, I also have a giveaway to share with you and I will be going over those details at the end of the video. You will see me share a lot of products from L'Occitane, and that's why I've decided to do a L'Occitane giveaway. Let me also share this video is not sponsored by L'Occitane or anyone else. Before we dive into the tried and true products that have stood the test of time for me, I do want to share with you that I may look a little different to you today. Typically when I am on YouTube, I have a full face of makeup. Now, if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, you are used to seeing me like this. Well, kind of. You're used to seeing me without makeup on. I am coming to you six days post Halo Laser. It's Sunday, February 7th. I had Halo Laser performed on Monday, February 1st. Today was a scheduled filming day and I didn't want to get off of my schedule or my routine and my face just was not ready to apply makeup. So I decided because it doesn't bother me, I would film today's video as scheduled. Be sure to come back next Monday because I will be sharing with you all about having the halo laser treatment performed. Then I will be doing a video at the 12 week post halo laser mark where I will talk about my results from that time. If you would like to see the video of me having halo laser performed, I will have that link in the description box below today's video. The last thing that I would like to share with you today before we get into the products is I am also coming off of a six to seven day fast cleanse fast. I did a 36 hour water fast, went into a juice cleanse for three consecutive days, finished up with a 36 hour water fast, and then I did a day of fat burning cabbage soup. There will be a video coming soon where I will be sharing more about this fast cleanse fast. I also encourage you to join me on March 15th for a 20 day reboot, a health and mind reboot that will go from March 15th all the way to Easter Sunday where you will do a fast cleanse fast with me and I will support you on your journey. There will be a link in the description box below this video as well where you can get more information on that and also register to be a part. Don't forget though, in a couple weeks, I will be sharing a video on the topic. All right, without further ado, let's dive into the products that have stood the test of time for me, the products I am still using today. They are tried and true, and I don't see me deviating for any good reason unless I'm forced to. And we're gonna talk about a product that I believe I am going to be forced to finding something to replace it. If you watch my monthly empties videos that I have been doing for the past couple years, you're just going to shake your head at so many of these products because you're used to seeing them. The first I want to talk about is the Almond Delicious Soap by L'Occitane. I've been using this since obviously 2015 or prior. I use this in the shower daily with the L'Occitane shower oil. As you can tell, I am well stocked. That is the other thing with these products. I always try to keep one in the can because if I run out, I wanna make sure I have backups. Gillette Mach 3 Men's Razor. I actually have a blog post that I did in early 2016 where I talked about how I accidentally 
found out how much I love a man's razor and how I get such a better shave with one. I will link that blog post. This razor is the type where you use replacement cartridges. I will have the cartridges linked as well. St. Ives, this is just a drugstore body lotion. It's the collagen and elastin. I use this almost every day and I mix a little bit of the L'Occitane Supple Skin Oil. This just, uh, the two of them together is divine. It's perfect. This supple skin oil will last a long time. You only need a little bit. I've talked about how I use this product on a normal or average day, but one to two days a week, I will use the L'Occitane Milk Concentrate, which I love. I would use this product every single day. And again, I do mix the two, but this is a splurgy item and it would cost me too much to use it on a daily basis. So the days that I get all ready and I do my hair and makeup, let's say a filming day, or I'm going out, or I have an event, if we could be so lucky, those are the days that I treat myself to something a little bit more pampering and something that just smells so amazing. Does this look familiar to anyone? I'm sure it does. I also have a blog post on this deodorant, the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. I have a video and a blog post. Been using this forever, but recently, Rumor has it that this is being discontinued. Now, this is not the first time this speculation has been made. About a year ago, maybe a year and a half, two years ago, there was a rumor that this was being discontinued, yet I continue to find it. I really believe this time the rumor may be true, so I encourage you to stock up. I have, I actually have some more of these deodorants on the way currently. They'll probably be here by the time this video goes out. Bear in mind, there's also a travel size. I will put links in the description box below of where I can find it. I'm guessing eBay is going to be a good source. But yeah, get your hands on this before they're all gone. Sticking with the body products, I also have the L'Occitane Delicious Hands. Love this hand cream. I've mentioned before, the only thing that I don't like is the cap is not a flip cap. It's a screw off. But I'll be honest with you, I have not found too many other hand creams that I like as much, but I do have one other one that has come into the arsenal along with this one, but it, there's not a purse size. So I still purchased this one for my handbag. And the other one I use in the home, I love it just as much and it smells just as amazing. It's also a screw cap. Although the new hand cream has not been in my arsenal since 2015, I will be sure to link it because I don't see me getting away from using that one. I actually had a client recommend another hand cream that she swears by and really encouraged me to try it and test it against my favorites. And it was okay, but it did not match up to my favorites. The last body product I want to mention is this fragrance. It's by Parada, it's Miu Miu. I have been using this since 2015. I actually have a blog post that came out around Valentine's Day in 2016. The blog post will be linked below. I remember because I did Valentine's inspired decor around this bottle, so check it out. The images are beautiful. Boy, I will never get sick of this. I also can wear it year round. I love it so much that I also have the small little bottles that are great for travel. And then I also have the purse one as well. Opalescence Go Hydrogen Peroxide Tooth Whitening System. I'm not exactly sure when this came into the beauty routine. I feel like it was 2016. I didn't go in and verify it, but close enough because I cannot be without these. I typically use two trays per week. I haven't this week just because I haven't been wearing my makeup and I generally do my teeth whitening on makeup wearing days. But yes, 12 come in a box, love these, highly recommend them, never used anything. Those Crest strips and all of those, garbage. This is the big dog. Nivea Milk and Honey Lip Balm. 
Never, ever, ever get sick of this lip balm. You will recognize this Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. Must have. Also, Alia Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask. I did a video, well, let me take that back. There was a blog post, I believe in 2016, and then the first year that I was on YouTube, I did, I believe, two videos where I was talking about this product. It is also currently the only mask that I use. You may recall me talking about the Peter Thomas Roth masks. While those are nice and they do come out with a great kit every year during the holidays, to be honest with you, I always want to go back to this one even when I applied one of those. So I decided, why bother? I don't mask that often because I'm so busy. I used to have a little bit better routine, not as disciplined as I used to be, and that's okay, it's working for me. But if I'm going to mask, I want to go with the one that I love the most, and this is the one that I love the most. Also, when my daughter, who lives in New York City, comes home, she always uses this. In fact, I had to go down and grab it from the bedroom that she stays in when she visits because I just leave it in there because she will use it often when she's home visiting. Egyptian Magic All-Purpose Skin Cream, such a great product for eye makeup removal. I already have one in the can because this one is about out. Last a long time, I will share that. They do come in different sizes. Another tried and true, Mederma Advanced Dry Skin Therapy Facial Toner. It has alpha hydroxy acid in it. I talk about this all the time. I don't have dry skin, but this toner is amazing. I would recommend it for any skin type. 20% glycolic acid pads. Now I have changed a couple different brands, but they're all the same. They're all just a 20% glycolic acid and there's pads in there. Love these, cannot be without them. I recently shared both my AM and my PM skincare routine. There were three videos to that series. That library will be linked down below, but this product right here is one that my dermatologist highly recommends that I use every other day, alternating with my Tazerac, which I use a tretinoin that is generic. This is Tazertine. 0.1%. I do talk about both of these products in that video, but I have been using both of these since 2015. This product by Clarins, which is the Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster, I have been using since 2015 as well. I will share that I have not been as diligent using this the last couple of years. Basically, it is a little serum that you add a couple drops to my moisturizer. If I'm self tanning, this is how I self tan my face. I don't apply any other self tanning product to my face, only this mixed with my moisturizer. Living Proof Restore Shampoo and Conditioner did a blog post in 2016 talking about this exact product. I love many things by Living Proof. I love their shampoo and conditioners, and they have several different varieties, but I would say my favorite is the Restore line, so I'm always repurchasing this. As you can see, I believe I have a conditioner in the can. I believe you would also have seen this product in many of my videos, as well as that blog post from 2016, the Joyco K-Pack line shampoo and conditioner. They have updated their packaging. This is the old packaging. This is the new packaging. This product is what my hairstylist, Lori, uses on my hair when I go in for my color and cut. She is the one that turned me on to this. Joyco is also the line that she uses to color my hair and to do any highlights. She uses the developer for that process. Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo. I use this to wash my hair prior to going into a color touch-up. Great product, drugstore, super affordable, does not smell great. Not really anything great about it, but it does strip your hair of any buildup and you want your hair to be stripped of that before going in for a fresh color. Bedhead T-I-G-I After Party. This product came into my life in 1993. The reason I know that is the year that Kirsten was born, my oldest daughter who is 27, that year, 
when she was two months old, I went to my hairstylist, Lori, for the first time. So yes, I've been, I've been going to Lori for over 27 years. She used this product on my hair the first time I was there, loved it, purchased it, have purchased it ever since. This is another product that when my daughter that lives in New York City, my second daughter comes home, she uses this religiously and I laugh because when she went home the last time, she was pouring this in a snack size Ziploc bag baggie. She was squeezing it in there. I was like, I'll just order you one and have it shipped to your place. But she was actually going out of town for a few days to another location before going home. But that is how much she loves this product as well. So this has been in some blog posts even in 2016 and you've seen it in videos. Another product I have been talking about since 2016 is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. Can't be without it, must have one for travel. No idea, no idea when I started using Tresemme, Tray 2, maybe high school. <laughs> Still my tried and true hairspray. It's drugstore, super cheap, and works like a charm. There you have it. Some amazing must-have products. You know how loyal I am to the products that I use. I will not say yes to anything that is not optimal. If it is not knocking it out of the park, it will not stay and I will find something that will. These products knock it out of the park. All right, let's jump into the L'Occitane giveaway. Love the red packaging for Valentine's Day. One of you lovely ladies will receive this beautiful L'Occitane gift. This is the Lavender Collection. Inside this beautiful box, we have a lavender foaming bath. We also have a lavender relaxing exfoliating body scrub, lavender body lotion, lavender hand cream, and a relaxing pillow mist. All of the information to register for the giveaway will be in the description box below, as well as on the corresponding blog post, which is always your top link in the description box. You do have to be a subscriber to my YouTube channel and also leave a comment in the comment section below of a beauty product that is your tried and true that has stood the test of time for you. If you are under the age of 18, I please ask that you get permission from a parent or guardian before registering for the giveaway. The giveaway runs seven days and will end at midnight Eastern time on Friday, February 19th. If you are the winner, you will receive an email that you won and once you get back with me with your shipping information, I will get this beautiful gift set sent out to you. If I don't hear from the person who was selected for the giveaway, I will go into the website where we do our giveaways from and select another person. So be sure to be watching your email and be sure to take advantage of getting registered. Happy Valentine's Day to someone. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next week right here on YouTube where we're talking Halo Laser. 